what we're going to do. And then let me come back here. Okay, so that's, <clears throat> let me just give it a minute uh, so we can record this and then share with the, uh, the folk who weren't able to be here. Okay. Um, you guys could, you guys did good on the, um, on the uh, black and white, the uh, foreground. Um, so, like, go through it the first time. Um, There's a lot of work. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry I failed to complete it, but I decided to do a little bit of both parts and do do the best I could fit in. Sure. Um, well, you know, as you go through and, uh, and we'll figure out how to incorporate it in the academy as you guys go through that, um, you know, but you have these 16 different principles and all this work that you've done. And I'd encourage you to make it a practice to continue to, um, you know, get a piece of tracing paper, analyze work to keep that skill sharp. And what you're gonna to learn to do is not only analyze masterworks and find and develop your sensitivity in, 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 in space and line and value, but you also develop that skill in life. Like when you're with people, with your own energy, you're, you're, you know, because that's all we're doing is really reading energy. Because when you make a mark, it's a decision. And a decision triggers uh, an effort and an effort is just applied energy right so when someone says well they're not really putting much effort in or they're doing this half-assed it's like they're not committing a, a large intense amount of energy into the thing okay um if you can think about energy as life you're not putting the life into the thing right mm -hmm. so <clears throat> Even though we're looking at it as art, the reality is it's, it doesn't matter if it's music, dance, art, being very skilled at laying bricks, you know, uh, plumbing, building highways. It doesn't matter what it is. It's all it's, it, it's all a transfer of creativity, energy, problem solving and making things happen. Now we we're cool because we get to do it through visual things and there's beauty in that and all that other stuff. So, um, but that's why we're together. You know, if we were communicating these things through music, we'd be, you know, having jam sessions, you know? <laughs> um, so it, it, it's far deeper than just art. Art just allows us, it gives us a context to know how to play and flex you know and this is why um you know when we're talking about the aborigines uh one might say well you know they're backwards or whatever um or they're not as developed and another person might say well they're actually f f probably far more advanced because they can keep it simple right um and so when you look at a lot of these ancient civilizations you know they had or nowadays you have an artist over there and you have the doctor over there and you have a psychologist over there and you have a, a politician over there and a priest over there and they separated all of these things but you go into a culture like that and all of a sudden you know or, or maybe some of the african cultures or wherever and it's like you have these shamans these people who are are just functioning the same thing you know all of these different components is one and i know that's something bill and i've talked about a lot is that as artists we feel especially as composers we feel like the modern day shamans because we're not just painting pretty pictures we're actually delving into very profound concepts in ways that actually move and trigger people right so um so as you go and you continue to analyze and read, you're also giving yourself a very unique way to train, you know? So when we're reading and things like that, it's, it's like us going to the gym and working out, 
and you're keeping that 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 sensitivity very very strong so um yeah all right so terry since you're like for some reason big on my screen here um there we are now we can see everybody we're going to start with terry and then we'll go to julie and then bill delicia jen and we'll end with donna um so terry what was if you were going to sum up your core 80 experience over the last month and and say this was you know one of my biggest takeaways that you know what would that be well the, the whole core 80 for me was just an amazing experience um you know um from day one um i've learned and i've grown and um it, it's like a new world of understanding that has opened for me and um yeah so so um to me it was one of the one of the best things i've ever done and um you know like yesterday i started a painting and for the first time um i applied the the uh, what do you call it the macro grids hey the mm -hmm. The, um, the big the big grids on my mm -hmm. painting and I could actually draw my own design and look at it and I felt very proud of it it's not properly done yet but I think um you know it has um it has structure mm -hmm. and um, and also um you know with me because uh, I teach art as well you know so now I'm able to um it, it, I don't think the people will really understand the design principles per se so quickly because it's something that you you need to do something like the core 80 to really understand but but um you know I'm able to help them and I'm able to help them to get better designs and and um to look at their work in a different way so this has really been it's truly been an, an amazing um uh, course for me awesome beautiful Loved it. From day one yeah beautiful um, Julie? Um, I found it also really quite amazing at how it's cemented the whole system mm. into my mm. head much better. So although I had, because I've been doing this a while, a good understanding of a number of areas, it really cemented it, brought it all together, solidified it in my head much better. And I think I hope, but I think my storytelling, which was the area mm -hmm. I struggled most with, has really been hopefully improved. I feel more confident that it should have been improved by this going forward. And I think that's probably my biggest takeaway is seeing the sort of bigger picture and the whole structure of it working together to improve that storytelling. That's awesome. I know. Uh, Thank you. On Monday, we had the then meeting. And um, and it was just very, very cool. Like you came with this concept and in a very short amount of time, that story came to life. And um, and that that was a huge breakthrough, uh, you know, s seeing that happen where you struggled mm -hmm. on it. And yet it was wasn't much of a struggle on Monday. And mm -hmm. and and. It sounds like because of the core 80, you, because you had, I like that word cemented, cemented in your mind. Um, you were able to see what you wanted, but also have the language to articulate it and, and, and actually put it on paper and being in a community of people who can read it, giving you feedback that actually matters, you know? So that was, that was really cool. Uh, Mr. Jordan. Ding, yes, ding, ding. I, I think that the uh, experience is like uh, the basic apprenticeship program. You know, um, before jumping into stuff, grids and other stuff like that, this particular experience is it's uh, learned by, by by seeing, analyzing, and copying. You know, if you if you're a musician, you, you study your, the great composers. Why? Because they've been there. You haven't. Similarly, with this, if we study the great composers, the great artists, and we look at the aspects of their work, that gives us insight into how we can structure our work. So I think overall it's a great experience and that uh, working forward to, for, for, the, for the next in-depth session of the uh, Corey. Beautiful. Thank you, man. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
Bill, uh, I, ma I made a little a painting for you. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we can't see you. Oh, yeah. on the edge of that's, the that's why I'm at, the, I'm at the edge, baby. You see, you, you, your yes. technology, the technology doesn't get over here. <laughs> but tell you what, tell, tell you what, I'm going to get back on your plane. It, What's up? Yeah. <laughs> Just like the drawing. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, glasses on. Um, that's awesome. Uh, Delicia. Mm. Well, I will reiterate with um, Julie. It was absolutely amazing experience, and it really got cemented into my brain everything that I learned. So the core eighty really opened up my understanding as far as art is concerned. And um, I loved every part of it, but I especially loved the rebated squares and the uh, reciprocal uh, rectangles. I loved them the most because I felt with those lines, I could really get somewhere and, and see where they were going and see what the artist was, was trying to put onto his painting, you know? So it, mm -hmm. that, that was amazing for me. And I think I will be using that a lot more than anything else. <laughs> Because it really spoke to me. Yeah, That's so cool. it was just an amazing experience. I love the core AT. When, when I'm at a museum, I'm analyzing, I usually start there. Like, first thing I do is I find a rebated squares. And then mm. um, I do that actually before I do a thrust map because usually, most likely, the, the rebated square and the reciprocal are going to give you when you're looking at this picture you have all, all these places to look and usually it's going to tell you these are the, the very important things in in the yeah. image you know so it's like reading a sentence there's a lot of words in a sentence but there's usually maybe only like two or three the really job. important words you know um and so uh and i and that's what for me, the rebated square and the reciprocal do is it, it gives you those, it, point, it pulls them out like, like that. And then yeah. <clears throat> applying a simple technique like the thrust map on top of it. And then, and then from there, almost everything else is just to confirm or reiterate, you know, just to double check. Yeah. And then when you start to see like on layer two, three, four, five, yeah. it's the same, <laughs> you know, it, it, all of these things are being used to communicate the same thing over and over in one image, right? Um, beautiful, great. Uh, Miss uh, Jen. Well, I think um, what I learned mostly was uh, just how much effort and work went into planning and organizing uh, these paintings to get a story across. I didn't realize, uh, or what I learned through the Core 80 are the different uh, uh, things they use, design elements they used as far as thrusts and diagonals and uh, horizontals and the geometry mm -hmm. to assist in, in, in making that story come to life. Uh, I... Uh, I uh, would say that I had a hard time knowing how to put a painting together or drawing a scene and where to start and where to begin. And I think the ge geometry that we've learned in Core 80 has shown me how you could start with, mm. a, with, with a base and, and create a story that will work within that geometry or make the story and then make the geometry work for the story, <laughs> whichever way you want to say you know, I've always been nervous to use the word geometry, but the, okay. when you say it, it feels so right because that's exactly what it is. It's right. just a geometry. And, um, and I've always been nervous because oftentimes when we say geometry nowadays, it's, it's you associate it with math, you know. Mm -hmm. how, and if you do associate with art, it's basically, you know, like a very high design, like a, a graphic design type of uh, thinking. Um but the right, but that is the right word, you know, that's what we're dealing with is geometry. There's um, 300 years ago, and I know I shared this story with a few people before, there's, I don't know if I'm actually related to him, but most likely I'm related to the guy. Um, we have the last, the, the same 
surname and we come from the same place in Spain. So if you, if you say so, <clears throat> if I say so, and uh, and there's actually a statue to him and he looks like a guy version of my aunt. So <laughs> I, I'm just going to say we're probably in the same line. Um, but his name was Don Felipe de Castro. And uh, um, and from my mother's side were Castros, and we that's where we come from, uh, in Galicia, Spain. And um, oh, Ivy will not be joining us today. Um, and he was a an artist in Spain, and he went to study in Italy, and he was a a famous sculptor. And when he came back, I think it was uh, King Philip the Fifth. The fifth is just a letter V, right? Yeah, fifth. Uh, came to him and asked him to help restore the Royal Academy of Spain, uh, the the the, rec- uh, the Royal Academy of, of Art in Spain. And Don Felipe said, as the director, his his focus was on two things: teaching people anatomy and teaching people geometry. Mm. And you know, it's interesting because we have this little statement, and I, I know I shared this with you before, Jed, spit and image, spirit and image. And that's really what we're looking for. And most people are trained, uh, either they're not trained and they're just kind of left to do whatever they want to do, um, or they, they go to school and they're trained in image, like how to copy what you see. You know, maybe it might be, uh, they think, geometry is about proportions you know getting the eye you know putting five eyes across the head and you know and that kind of thing and proportions so that it looks like what you're looking at right and so they teach you measuring how to measure how to render how to copy and that's an important skill because it, you, you have to have some way of getting your thought or what you're looking at on paper and once it's on paper what the hell do you do with it you know, how do you actually make it? How do you refine it to become a work of art? And that's when you have to understand energy because you have energy and you have matter, right? That's all we have in this universe and in time, right? Like you have energy and matter. So matter is what we look at. That's image. That's what you're copying. And energy is what well, is really where we are because that's that's what we're trying that's what we're putting into the piece and um and when you become very conscious of that and become very intentional about that then all of a sudden this thing becomes alive and like the sketch that we were dealing with julie on monday that thing if looked at ten thousand years from today unless the person was blind or an ass. <laughs> well, it 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 would work. It would move them. They would feel the leaves move. They would feel the ball bouncing. They would feel these things because you captured the energy, the essence of that, and you put it in the image, and and it works. You know, so um, so geometry is really what it is that we're doing. You know, and then we're hiding it under the context of whatever it is that you're painting. And, um, but yes, yeah, but that's a really good word uh, to, to, to use. Um, <clears throat> Donna. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Um, thank you. Hold on. Yes, thank you. Um, I want to give you a, a tremendous round of applause for having such depth of knowledge to be able to engineer a course that is so streamline, succinct, or whatever the word is, in what you were wanting to teach, and yet so profoundly deep in its contents. And I know everyone feels that because we all said it in the same way, but I certainly feel it because even though I worked um, as a student with you for the last year, this class clarified every different stage of the development. Um, I want to read through the class and really follow through on the assignments that I didn't have time to do because I know you need to do the assignment 
to hardwire it into your head. Uh, at this moment, the, the assignment that I did follow through, um, which was the repetition of the horizontal, verticals, and angles, just by doing that five different times and five different pieces of work, I now understand the matrix um, mm -hmm. grid system where, where before I'd be so frustrated, like, why? I don't want the angle to go that way. I want it to go this way. Why, why, why? It would be just as nice. But when you reverse engineer a master painting, mm -hmm. you see how elegant that repetition of that angle is, how it strengthens the story and you know, the rhythm it makes or the, the, the energy it produces or, or communicates, then you start to understand, oh, my goodness, the, um, uh, it, it really made me feel confident that great paintings are in reach with this science. Before that, I, it was my, my, my assumption that great artists are just blessed by God with the taste and intuition but no, it actually, it's an education that makes a great artist, um, you know, as much as anything else. So you gave us that, and I thank you so much. Well, I'll see you now. You know, um, <clears throat> my eyes are tearing up right now. Uh, and, and I thank you for that, Donna. They're not tearing up because of what you said in, in towards me. There was something you said. It, it, you said the word science. This is the science of it. And as soon as you said that, I heard <clears throat> the words of Michelangelo when he said that design or the science of line drawing is the very essence and uh, of painting, architecture, and sculpture, okay? And what was that? Say that again. That the Michael science, Angela. yeah, the science of, I mean, he said the design, or you, he said you could call it the science of line drawing is the very essence and source of painting, architecture, and sculpture. Okay. Painting, architecture, and sculpture is not the essence of it, of what we're doing. That's just a medium in which to perform it. The art, the communication comes from the designing. Okay. Mm -hmm. And and the language, the way we do it is by actually drawing it out. You know, I teach my daughter, I said, you know, she's like, Daddy, I want to paint. I said, what do we do before we paint? Say draw. That's right, right. You know, you, <laughs> you, know, you draw before you paint. And um, it was kind of funny the other day. Uh, she said, "Dad, I want to paint." And my son popped up. What do you do before you paint? <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, yeah boy, that's awesome." Um, but this is this is why I my eyes are watering a little bit is because in the moment when you said that, Donna, I knew that every single person here understood what you meant, and I knew that you understood what you meant, and basically like everything that everyone said i knew you understood what you meant and we all got it and that spirit that energy that connection i know that the 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 artists that we stand on that have always seemed so far from us don't you always hate calling them ancient masters or the or the old masters it's like and you're always like thinking okay we call them old masters but who are the new masters like who are the in between masters like who like our language could separates us from them mm -hmm. and we know we're separated. And I think that's one of the biggest frustrations with artists is that we want to feel connected, but we have no clue how to. And I feel that when you said the word science, right in that moment there, Donna, I, I just felt like there was no time. Like we, like we walked into the bar and we sat at the table of these great masters, you know, why not because we painted something great or had a great sculpture, but because we could have actually a real intelligent conversation about what actually matters. Now, sure. Michelangelo loved being a sculptor. Him and Picasso probably weren't going to have a great conversation on sculpting. 
Okay, maybe Picasso did sculpture. I don't know, right? But what connects them is concept, idea, intelligence, and the, and how do you how do you convey those concepts or those ideas through through a language of design? And that's what they could speak at a very high level on a master level. And that's what you guys um, are in. And, and, and that's just uh, <clears throat> very, very cool. Very cool. Well, you know, I, DV, you know, I have to say, this is a concept. These concepts can be taught and begun to comprehend by seventh graders. You know, I mean, you can, you can maybe take your pick, but I, I really think so. I, I, think, I think the way you distilled the information in such a beautiful way, it could be communicated and taught to eighth graders, and they would never be the same after that. You know, it would, it's just, it's just really amazing. Yep. Absolutely. And we're going to do that because um, <clears throat> the, the vision here isn't just to teach a bunch of, you know, to teach artists, you know, a, a group of artists how to design great things. It's, it's, it goes far bigger than that. And it's really teaching us, giving the world, again, the ability to author amazing things, um, you know, as well as receive them. Because if it's like being in a relationship, if you're the only one loving the other person, well, and it's not reciprocated or received, and there's a difference in those two, um, well, then you're, you know, you're just spending your heart, you're spending your energy, right? So there has to be, and it's, you know, and you feel it when you see people in a museum who want to, who want to receive from their experience at the museum, but they have no clue. And sadly, the museum doesn't know how to really direct them to actually receive what the artist wanted to give them. And, and, and they just, you know, you know, they, they just keep in the, the, the place warm with, with lots of movement and body body heat but that's about it like there's really isn't this transfer of, of this experience so now i want to just uh give you guys something and then we'll, we'll wrap up and i'll send you on your way um i'm gonna start with julie because i know julie has to probably scoot on out here in a minute um, i do my internet's driving me nuts i only get one word in three so i'll have a listen again in a minute when, when it's better <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and send these to you guys, all right? But um, I thought it'd be kind of cool and important for us to have a little certificate that you can put on your little wall. Um, oh, very nice. Right. So um, actually, uh, and then what I want to do is just go through them all. And I'll start with Julie just because I know she, she might have to shoot out of here. And I have a little word I wanted to share with you. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> if I was going to give a little award uh, outside of just a, a praise, I would give you, Julie, what I would call my owl award. Um, and an owl. <laughs> 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 um, <clears throat> and the reason why is because I see three things in you. Um, and I just want to take a moment to uh, <clears throat> to honor you on those because, um, well, you earned them. Uh, when I think of an owl, I, I think there are a couple of very magical animals in the world. There's a lot. Oh, they're all magical in their own way. But I've always loved the owl. Um, it's something I also see in my daughter. And it happens to be, I think, one of her favorite animals as well. Um, but you have the ability to, to see. You see the big picture. You see how it all works together. Um, and the reason why you can do that is because you, you, you feel very comfortable in an analytical space. Um, and so your ability to see and your ability to think. And then I remember once we were in a meetup and my internet just kept going out and out and it went out for, I don't know, almost 30 minutes. Right. It was just so, uh, <laughs> and I was so irritated because it was like the first time that I wasn't part of the meetup. 
and I came back and I, I finally logged back in and there you are leading these women through the process. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where, where did you live? Who is that? You know? And so for me, the owl just isn't someone who can see and who's, who, uh, who can analyze. Okay. But who is a leadership figure. Right. And I just, for, so this award for this certificate here is partly for completing the course, but what I've seen throughout the, uh, throughout the time is that you just have, you, you can see it and you can, you, and you can think it. And I just want to just honor you in that. Um, thank you. I'm blown away. I never see myself as a leader normally. Wow. Thank you. I'm clapping. <laughs> um, you know, it's interesting when the United States formed uh, one of the concepts uh, that they had was when people ran for, for government, for politics, um, one of the, the early practices was, is, was that the community came together and elected or nominated, I should say, and ultimately elected, but nominated the person that they felt should go represent them. Nowadays, it's like, oh, you, you know, you, you, I see myself as the leader and I should, I should represent you, right? It's very different. <laughs> Um, and so the reality is the reason why, you know, the fact that you don't see yourself as a leader is probably why you make a pretty badass leader. <laughs> okay. um, so now let me just uh, share with you what I have here, um, in this, uh, certificate. Okay. Um, it just basically acknowledging that you finished, um, that you completed the core 80 experience okay uh and from this point on we won't let anyone come into the academy unless they have this up front okay um they're not going to enter into our our, our composer ships and things like that unless they they're not going to learn how to do it unless they first learn how to see it okay yeah, I think that's um, good. yeah I, yeah and then Wait. what was that I said, that makes sense. <laughs> it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so you guys, excuse me, um, are the core 80 X01. Okay. So you're the first experience. So you have that, that nobody else will ever have. Okay. And I was trying to figure out, you know, do I call it a certificate? Do I call it a diploma? And I came up with this, which, um, I, I, I leaned. I, let, I was leaning towards a word of honor because that's a that's a, a word I like to use a lot. But more importantly, we're going to call these diplomas, these certificates, trusts, because we're trusting you. And I say we. I mean, ten thousand years of history, art history, is trusting you to carry on what we all know, which is very important, which is being able to read and author through the language of design. And, um, and so it's just not something, you know, a diploma of what you did, but it's, it's a commitment to, to honoring this heritage, because this is what it is. It's the artist's heritage is, is what you're, what you're tapping into and you're receiving. And so, uh, yeah, Julie, well, I guess wow. you're the first one to receive the trust <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much i'm very honored congratulations julie thank yeah congratulations. i have to i have to say i agree with don's insight into your personality and character because i i thought yes julie would be a great leader because i would trust her i would mm -hmm. trust her judgment and i didn't even look at the trust next to your name on my screen of the certificate it's, it's really interesting how that quality news communicated to Don, and I, I felt it also. Well, thank you very much. It was a good day. I'm sorry. I'm, <laughs> I, yeah, I'm going to have to scoot because I've got to get the kids to school. But um, congratulations, everyone. You've all done an awesome job with this course. It's been lovely to meet you all, and it's been fantastic. Thank you. Beautiful. We'll see you around Bye. again. Bye. Yeah. Bye. 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 Um, another aspect of this certificate is I put my, um, 
well, I don't know, maybe about 15 years ago, I did. I was like, you know, I was watching um, the Antique Roadshow, and I noticed that every time they would get a an antique, they would start looking for a mark, right? They were like a mark on on the piece to certify. And I'm like, well, if they're looking for that, then I'm going to go ahead and give people a mark, right? <laughs> like, so about 15 years ago, I designed a mark, and this is the mark for the uh, for Vargas Arte. And in the top, there's a little banner that flies across, and you'll be able to see it later. Um, and it says "Design Solo," which means it's own it, design only. It's all it is. Mm -hmm. Like without without it. You have yeah. well, the opposite of design. Within design, you have order, you have beauty, right? And, the, and when you don't have it, you have ugliness, you have chaos. And some people might, you know, have a philosophy where they might want that chaos. Um, and and I think being human and the power that we have. And this is part of the whole you're in the image and likeness of God is the fact that you can go into chaos, into the unknown, into the dark, and turn on a light, bring order, bring peace, bring, you know, whatever it is that, quote unquote, your story is that you want to communicate. Um, and then you can lead people through that, other people. And, um, and, and, and that's to me what designers do or composers do we bring beauty into that place so now at the bottom it says la vida es bella which means life is beautiful and so for me those are the the two mottos of my life and and if i'm going to take the responsibility on to teach and train others then this is going to be the foundation of what we do everything is about design reading making and teaching it with the purpose that understanding that no matter what the situation is, you know, we want to raise the consciousness of beauty. Okay. Now, uh, I was going to go to Ivy next, but <laughs> he's on a plane somewhere, I think. <laughs> um, uh, Susan and Lori. Um, let me start with Bill. Let me go back to Bill here. Um, because Bill, there was a re there was a word that was trying to come out of my mouth with Julie, but I was not going to allow it to come out. Um, because if I could give it an award to Julie called the Owl Award, and maybe one day I'll come up with that, I would give you one very similar, and um, but I would call it the Ghost Owl, <laughs> where. Uh, <coughs> Julie, her, her ability to see and think is locked within um, matter, okay? And, or, or, or in, a, in a physical way. And I, and I want to just honor you for uh, what I would call a ghost owl, right? Which is very similar but primarily, it's just your wisdom and your ability to see past, you know, like we said here, uh, see past the paint, right? <laughs> like, and you're very, very comfortable in that space. And your wisdom is, um, well, well, it's the reason why you're the CYO, right? <laughs> yeah. the Yoda officer. Um, and so I just want to thank you for being true to yourself uh, and, and, you know, being Bill, man. Well, thank you, sir. Thanks for the acknowledgement. It's been a pleasure being in the company of all you great craftspeople. You know, and especially since I'm, you know, since we've been off, off the side of the, we fell off the earth. <laughs> and, and, you know, falling off the earth is the best thing for you because that's how you learn to see. Right. I mean that metaphorically. Fastest way to get to the other side. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. You know, so I, I would encourage you all to fall off the planet at least once a day. <laughs> that, Good. that way, that Good way, idea. that way you keep fresh. That's it, man. Beautiful.
Beautiful. Um, Jen, I'm going to go back up to the top because I was going to start with you first. Um, okay. You're an interesting... Uh, you have a very special place in, in, in my heart for this process because you... Everybody else had, you know, some type of experience with me before this process. Okay. And by me, I mean, you know, the process, the academy, things like that. You, outside of a phone call, have, <laughs> haven't. Like, you, you, you actually, in a weird way, are really the first person to actually go through this. Oh. <laughs> and well, uh, every minute. What was that? I've enjoyed every minute of it. And, 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 and I've had my, <clears throat> my ear close to what you're saying and what you're doing because, it, you know, it was – you were, in my mind, a very true test of what this is, mm. okay, because you, you didn't know any of this stuff, right? You, you weren't right. familiar with it. Um, right. And to see you go through and do the work and getting it just like, the, like everybody else um, – really gave me a lot of confidence in knowing that this system is is super super important for everyone okay right and so um if i was going to give an award on top of this i'd give you the courage award because you thank you (laughs) you you stepped into a very dark place you know like you had no clue what was going to happen um and uh, uh, and to see you go through, see you do the work, see you grow, I'm excited. I'm really, really excited to see how fast you you grow on the other side of this because of this foundation. Okay, and and I see you um, basically as what all people of the academy will will look like when they come you know through this process um from this point on because no one's gonna uh get into the academy without first going through this course and you you haven't we haven't even talked about your stories yet you know (laughs) and so uh and, and so you're you're really the, the 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 first of this whole new generation of of, um, of composers, which is well, really- I'm honored, and I I love every minute of it, and everything I've learned has been just fascinating and so exciting, and I cannot wait to to learn more and apply it to to my own work and grow with you and your group there. I hope we're going to continue meeting and. Absolutely. Um, with the place in which you are posting the stuff, uh, okay. that's going to be the Academy online. Okay. okay. For at least for a while until we okay. figure out a better system. Um, but that system is really, really nice. Uh, so uh, yeah, on, on that Facebook, uh, that workplace system, <clears throat> we have the core 80. So anyone who goes through the core 80, uh, the live, uh, core 80 live you guys will always be able to come back and access the videos because we're just keep recording okay. what we did. and you'll see the new people who come in and, and post work and so if at any time and i, and I want to do those live ones every two months uh it may be every three months but 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 at this time i want to shoot for every two months um you can take any of those uh uh, sessions and 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 do the homework and apply it okay just, just to right. give yourself a challenge uh, you know and i and i might actually um <laughs> uh and i haven't made a decision on it yet but i may actually make that just as a requirement that you know make uh once every quarter that you pick one of those uh things just to kind of refresh and and, and and, okay. And, and great. Great. Uh, cool. So, um, all right, Miss Terry. Terry Horn. Um, if I could uh, add in an award, 
along with this certificate. Um, I would give you an award for <clears throat> the greatest. For Hold on, DB, for elegance. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Donna. <laughs> Donna will give you that award, okay? <laughs> Thank you, Donna. Well, the award that I want to give you is the one who's, in my opinion, from what I've observed in knowing you, is the self-image award, okay? And self-image isn't the way you look on the outside. It's how you see who you see yourself as on the inside. And I know you were struggling, you know, with being a copy artist versus a creative, right? And that's a huge leap, you know, and, and first just to admit it is it takes incredible courage and, and honesty with oneself, but then also to admit it to other people. Um, because when you do that, now, now you, now you made yourself vulnerable, and you can either lie to yourself, or you can go hide. You can do all kinds of things, but you've chosen not to do any of that, but to actually push forward and 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 stepping out in that place. The gift that you got was a different mirror, and um, and that that's really awesome. You know, and, and you see yourself very, very different. Definitely. Thanks to you. <laughs> and all that I've learned. Because, um, you know, I can just repeat what I said, that this has been an amazing experience. It's, um, and, and, it's, and it's something that um, I must still try to, to formulate how I would like to communicate the whole concept to other artists in a way that they um, they will understand and won't, won't take offense because people can very easily um, just defend what they are doing, um, you know, because they don't have the knowledge. So I must still get uh, to formulate that. Um, I, I will actually um, speak to Delisha, and I think between the two of us, we will come up with something um, just to promote this, um, the core 80, you know, um, amongst our uh, friends and the, uh, other South African artists. Indeed, indeed. Okay, and we'll talk, you. three of us will talk about that. Yes. Um, part of what uh, Delisha and uh, Terry are in is also what Ivy's in, which is something we're doing called uh, the AOC International. And that's going through the process to figure out because in all honesty I don't really know just kind of stepping into it and figuring out as we go um, but figuring out how we can take this and get it plugged into different countries uh, around the world okay and um, in, in, in such a way that is feasible for them and realistic mm -hmm. for them to grab a hold of it uh, just mm -hmm. because uh, you know um, just just in different places. So, uh, the, so yeah, so we'll talk about that. My encouragement to you on teaching others at this point is to give yourself a year, give yourself time. You know, you've taught them, they, they love you. They trust you. Um, you you, you may get a little frustrated cause you're starting to see things. Okay. Mm -hmm. But give yourself like an 80, 20 rule, like spend 80% of your time teaching you. Okay. And then 20% of your time sharing that with other people, you know, just for, you know, but give yourself just a little time, you know, a good year just to, 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 to know it. Um, and then when you do teach people or, 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 or show people, I advise that you never, ever talk about grids and geometry and spacing. Mm. Okay. Because that, loses people so fast it, it's mm -hmm. you know it's taken me you know 20 25 years to figure out actually how to communicate in a way that doesn't lose people mm -hmm. right so where i would and, and also people want to express their ideas and the geometry part 
it, it's when you're really committed to, to, to crafting an amazing work of art. But before you get there, you have to already know what your idea is and you have to know how to already express it. And so what I encourage you to do, if you're going to teach and share this with people, only focus on storytelling and design. Mm -hmm. You know, just having a conversation with a person like, what is it that you want to communicate? Mm -hmm. It's a conversation like most people don't even have. Mm -hmm. Right? Like just, just leading them through that conversation to go deeper in what is it that you want this thing to say? You know, they'll bring, they might bring in a picture of their grandkid. Oh, I want to paint my grandkid. Okay, well, that's great. So are we going to spend the next three weeks focusing on, you know, copying their eyeballs and teeth and nose? Or do you, what is it that you really, who is your grandchild to you? You know, have that conversation. Once you have that conversation, now you've gone from the questions of like, you know, the how-to questions to you're getting into the why you're getting into the meaning the soul mm -hmm. and now someone who has meaning and purpose to to doing it they're not going to get bored in three weeks you know mm -hmm. they're going to be willing to put in the effort to do it over and over again to you know until it sings mm -hmm. uh, so I, I would i would i would encourage you to start with story and then if you're past that conversation um then then a conversation is about design like oh yeah you know if you you know if you want to make them happier you know if you mm. bring some arcs in here and then leave it at that okay in the beginning you know i've, I've already started um communicating the storytelling part with them because when something like that because it now has become part of me mm -hmm. and you can't but communicate that way you know so um everybody has been saying you know that they they've seen that i have changed and that uh -huh. i've grown so they they've actually noticed it um and it's just you can't help it it's just now being part of who you are and um so you've really opened up um that um whatever was inside of me that was latent that I didn't really know how to <clears throat> communicate and how to explore and how to see, um, you know, the people can already see that in class. So thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. Delicia. <laughs> well, <clears throat> This is a very strange award. That if I could give an award, that's how I have to say it, you know. <clears throat> um, if I could give this award, uh, 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 this award a name, it would be called the Ruth Award. Okay. <laughs> and because Ruth was the mama wolfie and um and just for it, it, those who don't know who ruth is ruth was the the facilitator of the wolf den on tuesday mornings and she passed away a, a, few, a few weeks ago maybe about a month ago, about a month ago um but she what she helped create <clears throat> in the academy was <clears throat> was a, a really, really strong major pillar in, in our identity and who we are and what we do. Absolutely. And that's what I want to honor you in is because there's a lot of things to honor you in, but I just feel like you have this consistency and this loyalty and this faithfulness to the process and to the, and to the people and to yourself. And that's what I saw in Ruth, right? And, um, and because of it, you know, uh, there's a leadership quality in it. And so, you know, the Ruth Award is really like the mama leader award, right? And if I was giving it to a guy, it'd be the papa leader. But but you're, you're not a guy, at least I don't. No. Um, so the mama, the mama leader award and 
the way that you did your work, the way you did your videos, um, just the energy in which you did it, I felt several times that your doing kind of was like it was leading other people to do. Okay. And not in the sense that you had to say anything like, Hey, follow me or, Hey, let me push you. But when I envision it, you were laying a trail, you know, just your doing mm -hmm. became like a rope for other people, maybe not even consciously, but just the way that I saw it, um, could, 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 could figure out how to get through the path. Okay. And so, um, and with that, it's where, where one form of leadership is, hey, follow me. And another form may be, hey, I'm pushing you this direction. I don't see you either in any of those camps. I see you, like I said, as a, as a rope, right? And the reason why that's important is because that, that symbol of the rope that starts at one place and ends at a, another place, it's ever present, right? It's consistent. And it's even, right? It doesn't have ups and, ups and downs. It's just an even flow. And, um, <clears throat> you know, once I, uh, a, a couple of years ago, I had a, a vision of me standing on a stage doing lectures. And um, I remember posting on Facebook a, an image of it and saying, in one year, you know, I'm going to be on a stage and, some people often say to me, why do you post stupid stuff on Facebook all the time, right? <laughs> well, almost, almost to the day, a year later, I'm standing on a stage, right, doing the lecture. Right. Yeah. And, um, and, uh, and, and the reason why I do that is because I'm not trying to impress anybody today. I'm building a legacy. And so at some point, there will be a story about this guy named Don Victor. And if I win, or if I lose, like, there will be documentation there to say, oh, man, that guy was insane. But if I win, <laughs> and the story is told, then I'll be a genius. And so I'm very conscious of that there's a story that's being told. And by me posting this stuff, it's just me putting it in a place that it will never be forgotten, in, right? right? And so when I, a lot of times when I post stuff on Facebook – it has nothing to do with the people who are on it now. It's in my mind, I call it my great, great grandchildren who will then read it and see it. Right. And, mm -hmm. the, and they'll be able to do that. So, um, and, and, and so the, the, the consistency is, um, Oh, that's what I was going to say was, so I had this dream of me on this stage doing a lecture and I looked in the, in the, in the row, the front row, and I think outside of Bill, um, all the people that my soul invited into the front row, row were all women. Mm. And yet, nothing I know today in terms it came from a woman. Like what I know and I do comes from men. Uh, and yeah. yet, who I am that enables that actually gives life to what I do is all because of women. Right. And it was a very interesting thing. And, and the one thing that was unique about them all, it was my aunt, uh, uh, my mom, uh, Costanza, Bill was there, uh, my daughter, like there were a couple of women in there. And what I realized that was unique about them is that <clears throat> they never try to teach me anything. They just helped. They were just a consistent pulse. Boom, boom. And everything they said was all always basically to to remember who I am, never to lose myself in the process, right? Mm. And mm. and to me, that's what the Ruth Award is, the Mama Leader Award, mm. just an e just a, a consistent flow. That's nice. Sure, I'm honored. Thank you so much. 
But it's spot on. It's spot on, Gary. You know. <laughs> you know her a lot longer than I do. Well. Um, I, Ivy's not. <laughs> <laughs> Ivy's not here, but I just want to quickly go over Ivy because um, Ivy, to me, if I could create a little a little statue for her, <laughs> um, it she would get, in my opinion, the commitment and loyalty award. Like we all know what she's going through because she's packing up and flying to a different continent, a different country, and yet in the process, she showed up right and she committed and um and that's powerful very very powerful um and yeah and and and, and it's weird cuz she's committed to herself and she's loyal to the group and the combination of all that is really uh, in my opinion, I can see her 60 years from now. Well, let's maybe, maybe, maybe 50 years from now. <laughs> um, and still committed to design, composition, art. And she doesn't see herself as a teacher at this point. And maybe she never will be a teacher, quote unquote, right? But I totally see her being an integral part of getting. Of, of making sure that this that the pulse is still I I existing okay um and not just by producing artwork but like at a, at a different level um and so i don't know what that is or how that will look necessarily uh but her level of commitment and loyalty to the to the to, to the composition design the academy to us um it has to bloom it, it's a seed and what that seed produces, the tree that it produces and the fruit from that tree, I don't know what that is yet. I just know it's going to be super, super powerful. And, uh, and so I'm excited to see her grow over the next two, three, five, ten years and, and, uh, and, and, and see what, what grows out of her. <clears throat> um, Susan and Lori are kind of, it's interesting, they're in the same den, um, but I just feel like they kind of have the same award in my mind, which is uh, they were hungry to know this information. They were working at it, but they were struggling really, really hard with it. And to me, they both had this eye-opening clarity moment. Like, they got it. They finally got it, you know? And so... Um, it was like this. So I would give them both like the aha award, like they <laughs> got it, you know. Um, and, and 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 that was really really cool to see them both go through that. Mm -hmm. And then we'll end it with Donna. <clears throat> um, Donna, if I was going to give you an award, <laughs> wait, wait, the lazy award, absolutely. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to get, I would give you the lioness award. Oh. Um, because <clears throat> I, I want to take a moment to honor your strength and your pride. The word pride came to me first, and that's where the lioness came from. Um, and and the lion is, she don't put up with shit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and so, you know, you got that little, you know, that, that northeastern in you. Um, <clears throat> and it's because I'm from New Jersey. Yeah. You yeah. know, but I, I. How do you say that, Donna? How, how do you pronounce New Jersey? New Jersey. There you go. New Jersey. <laughs> and. I think that's part of, um, you know, I've always thought it was beautiful in the samurai, how on one hand, they train to take a life. And yet, on the other hand, they're practicing art and beauty and gardening 
and calligraphy and 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 this absolute appreciation of life and even in when they have to take a life because they're warriors there's an elegance and a beauty in doing it in an honor you know in a code and and so i've always thought like there's such a beauty in 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 that you know where you you can be both in one hand take life in one hand give life you know um and so as a whole as a, as an academy i i want that energy to be here i want us to be very elegant classy thinkers and yet at the same time we're not going to be pushed around right because this is serious business and for me, Donna, like your strength, and I'm going to be honest, like your pride in the Academy and also in me, um, there's just, there's always has to be like, you know, a Peter, you know, like a, like a, someone who's going to run out and, and speak. And um, I see you like that and, and, and you do it with such uh, uh intensity and so i know when people are like that when they have that level of intensity oftentimes uh on on you know when you first are introduced to them especially you know unless you're like born in the northeast like you know like you're used to that energy right um but a lot of people aren't they're not they're not used to that level of intensity and um uh but then when they get past it and they see the heart and the commitment and the love and and all that stuff then it's like whoa right you 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 realize that it, it's no longer like a love it's a passion you know and i see you uh very very passionate about this i also like <clears throat> within your strength and your passion that you were one of the first people to ever say to come into the system and say, you know, I, I need to be here for two, three, four, five years. Right. Like you weren't making a commitment to the Academy. You were making a commitment to yourself and really looking at the reality of this is going to take time to master. And if you want that standard and that, you know, then you were going to have to do it with a level of intensity and make a time commitment to it. Um, uh, you know, and, 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 and that energy is beautiful. You know, I mean, it, it's, I made a commitment 25 years ago to this and I made a decision that I could go and become a painter. I could go and become a, uh, a person who worked in advertising and did really, really well because I can design and storytell and I, I can think like that. Yeah. Um, but I, but I knew for me personally, that would not give me the meaning in my life. It might've given me the, you know, the accolades and the awards and the, and the cash flow and all that other stuff, but it would have not, I would have not felt like I was fulfilling my purpose or, or, or getting the meaning that I wanted in life. And, and I always knew the meaning for me personally would come through teaching people uh, how to compose and storytell. Sure. And, and so I committed to that. And now here we are. And I feel that in you, Donna, like your intensity, your commitment, your strength and your pride in in this uh and in us and yourself uh is is something to be honored and never ever ever uh poo pooed on oh well thank you and i want to i want to tell you don dv your sensitivity and accuracy in understanding all your students like it is in understanding the spirit of art or the subject in an art piece is really very profound because as you spoke mm -hmm. about each person it rang a bell of truth in me. Everything that you said about every person, which was not repeated, everyone was very individual. And that is such a masterful 
gift of insight that you have. And, you know, I, I agree with everything that you said, and, um, you know, I appreciate it so much, and I'm so excited to also, you know, spread the word for everybody, um, because like Terry, um, I, when I began to work with you, I suddenly found myself uh, standing taller, you know, being lighter on my feet, having a sense of clarity and, and, uh, and purpose and feeling like I could complete the tasks I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. I felt, felt more whole as a person. <laughs> and I think that's what you're really giving us as a gift that will change our life forever. We will be whole and not just artists in, I don't know, like, like, a, like a puzzle where the puzzle's not put together and the artist, you know, has all these questions and, you know, you show us how to put the pieces together and suddenly, you know, we're complete. So I, I, we love you and I love everyone in the class. I think everyone is fabulous. And Bill is so much a, um, a when he speaks, his voice kind of echoes through my computer. It's like the echo of wisdom in a cave. And um, it's just a riot, Bill. You're really terrific. <laughs> and I have to say, Jennifer, you, you are brave. Because I, I'll tell you what, I had trepidation going through this. I think because I have a fear of failure. And to mm -hmm. think you jumped into the pool without any, comp you know, with any idea where it was going. I mean, like, I will have more confidence and ease to repeat the class. But mm -hmm. you did it, like, totally, you know, fresh off the truck or whatever the expression is. That's, that's really, a New Jersey that's term, off the really truck. Found. Yes, it's off the truck. <laughs> Come off the truck, guys. Well, when I first saw, when I first saw Victor on YouTube and, and he was talking about the things I've always wanted to know about, I, uh, I, I just couldn't believe that I was lucky enough to find a course in Victor who offered it to, to learn. So I couldn't wait. <laughs> I couldn't it, wait. It goes both ways because, you know, it, it's the reciprocation, right? So when it says that the um, the, the student is ready, the, the, the teacher appears, right? right. So there's right. something when you know what you're looking for and you're hungry for it, it creates a vacuum in the universe and it right. calls to something to, to come in. Now, believe that. That, that that's one side of the equation. The other side is, you know, it's interesting that this was formed right within the same time in which you were coming in, right? And so I can't believe it. And and and, and you look at that, you're just like, man, like that that's a puzzle piece, you know? And and yeah, it's like divine inter it, it happened in a divine way or something. Well, absolutely. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> um so uh just so you guys know, um on the donvictorart.com website if you guys want to introduce anybody to this system just have them go there uh there okay. they can see uh testimonials of of the uh, of students who've gone you know who are part of the academy um they can see work that we've completed at the academy under the portfolio section um okay. also there they can see um lectures and a whole series of videos right okay. and then the other thing that they can do there is if they click on class or the free mini course. So if they click on the little mini course, they can actually take session four, which was actually the um, repeated lines and the radiating lines. Mm -hmm. And they can go through that and they can have access to that whole entire session. And yep. if it's, if it's something that they want that they feel resonates with them, okay. <clears throat> then they can go ahead and sign up for the, um, uh, I have two things that they can sign up for. One is called Core 80 Lite, L-I-T-E. And that basically is a self-study um, digital course that, you know, if they can access if, you know, today, right? Okay. Um, and then there's the Core 80 Live, which is what you guys went through, which is, you know, we show up twice a week for a month and um, and we have a, a live experience. Mm -hmm. um, and so... Um, you meant twice a week. So twice a week, I mean. Yep. Thank you, Bill. Uh, twice a week um, for a month. And uh, and we go through the eight sessions. Okay. So that's, if you want to introduce people to this, just have them go there and 
And, and that was artvictor.com? Uh, Don Victor Art. Don, DonVictor.com. Nope, DonVictorArt.com. Art.com. Okay, yeah. I'll get it. <laughs> yep. okay. uh, and um, you could also send them just to core80.com and that will take them straight to that little mini course as well. Great. Perfect. So. That right. I need. Okay. Great. Thank you. Thank so, you for all your your uh, instruction and your good humor and your passion. I appreciate it. Uh, Victor, awesome. can I make a public service announcement? Yes. <laughs> now, I don't know if any of you guys are going to be selling your art. Some people don't do that. But if you're looking to sell art, there's one rule you should know. People buy from people they know. All right. Okay. Now, Victor's asked you to do these little clips. That's a good thing. Now, we, we were so rudely interrupted by a call I had. You heard that, that loud blaring ring on my phone. <laughs> it's a guy trying to sell me something. Uh -huh. you know, and I said, look, man, I can't relate to you because I don't know who you are. You sell, you're pushing a product. And so I ultimately you know, had to cut him loose. He was upset. But the point is, you buy from people. I don't, he could be selling me like potatoes, but I like him, so I'm going to buy the potatoes. Right. I had a relationship with him. I didn't, right. He could give me a million dollars, but I was reluctant. I didn't feel comfortable. Mm. What I'm saying is, you know, try every day to like, you know, reach out and touch people. Go, go to your local business meetings and all that stuff and say, I'm an artist. You know, it, 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 it's, it pays off because the more people you meet, not necessarily online, but in real life, it's how you get your juice. Mm -hmm. Good point. Wow. Thanks, Good. Bill. Yeah. yeah, thanks. Good tip. You know, yeah, you know, your, your local chamber of commerce, little old ladies club, whatever it is, you go there and you meet people and where it gets around. Yeah. Now to help you with that, um, we created a, uh, a calendar with 88 questions. And um, that span one year and, there, and we built it on a Fibonacci sequence so that there's a rhythm to it a pulse to it and um and you guys will understand this but it's also the the the, the questions are also built off of um the the design principles that we're using as well um but there was a guy who had a video on youtube and he said i can teach you how to do your your, your figure out your life's purpose in five minutes or less right uh and he asked five questions and primarily they were, who are you? What do you do? Who do you do it for? Uh, what do they need? And how do they change when you do, you know, when they meet you or, or they use your product or service? And that's it. Like you answer those, those five questions. It gives you a sentence basically that tells you what, what it is that you do here and why you do it. Um, and so using that as a framework, the first set of questions are about you hmm. as an artist. The second set of questions are about um, what you do, your artwork. And the next three sets of questions have, are all about the people that you are wanting to serve, your clients, customers, whatever. Um, and And so... The, the, the premise of, the, of, of it is that you would, when you get the question, you take maybe 60 to, to, to 90 seconds. You can maybe go three minutes if you want. Um, but just make a very, very short video that you would post on your Facebook. And you guys know how to do that now. Um, and you just answer the question. And answering the question is, is, is it's done in, in a story. Okay, so one of the questions might be, tell us a story when you and a, um, when one of your clients, when you and one of your clients laugh together. Now, you may think that has nothing to do with art, but it goes to Bell's point. You're sharing a story about you as an artist dealing with art with one of your, you know, someone who bought from you or is interested in your work. And you're talking about this human experience that you had that draws a lot more people because now they want to deal with you. Right. So 
um, it, it, and that's what those questions are designed to do. Okay. So I, I, I'll give you guys access to those if you guys want to, uh, you know, I'll give you access to it if you're willing to commit to it because it's only going to serve you and you've already gone through the process of getting over the hump of how do I hit the record button and you know, is my hair nice? And you, you, you've gone past that now. Okay. Um, and well, at least you guys have hair. <laughs> Yours is always nice, bro. See, <laughs> it's always nice and done. Let's go, Steve. Beautiful. All right, guys. Okay. Thank you so day. much. We'll talk later. Bye bye. Bye. Thank bye, -bye. bye bye. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, toodles. Bye bye. Thank you.